this week's edition of the Dakota Angler Two Minute Fishing Report. Before we get started with the report, I want to make sure all of you have a great 4th of July holiday and that we all truly remember why we have the holiday. Uh, but again, it's like the pinnacle of the summer, shall we say. A lot of fireworks going off this weekend, and I hope all of you enjoy it. But most of all, remain safe throughout the entire weekend. As far as the fishing report is concerned, and again, it's really the water temperatures have warmed up dramatically across the area with the you know, above normal temperatures that we've been experiencing the past week. But that really hasn't caused the, the bite to cool off at all. Uh, a lot of lakes are producing some really nice fish around the area. Up in the northeastern part of the state, the lakes that are producing walleye included Bitter and Indian Springs. Those two are probably the best uh, uh, bites going right now. Wabe, Blue Dog, Opitz, Goose, Big Stone. A lot of nice big fish coming out of Big Stone as well. Pius, North Rush, as well as Lynn, and then also Reed. Down in the southeastern part of the state, the lakes that, uh, the areas that uh, produce fish included the lakes of Dry. Uh, and that's by Willow Lake, obviously. And then also Whitewood, Thompson. Ponson, Sinai, 81 Ponds, uh, a few being caught at uh, North Brush, also Twin, and then uh, again, remember, Twin is the trophy lake, to say the least, though it had the walleye has to be 28 inches or larger, but it's a great place to introduce kids to walleye fishing, uh, so keep that in mind. Other lakes that uh, produced a few walleyes, and I emphasize the word few, uh, Campbell, Island, Brant, Vermilion, as well as Wall. Now, what are people doing to catch the walleyes? A lot of people have moved into summer type of presentations. Uh, pulling crankbaits have been the main thing, especially on the Missouri River, which continues to do quite well. Uh, a lot of people are using lead core out there to get a little bit deeper, uh, but they're pulling crankbaits uh, on, in the river as well as lakes such as the Hornets, uh, the Rapala Shad Raps, and then also the Flicker Shads. Those are the three main ones right now. Also, some of the people are using uh, boogie shads out there uh, by walleye nations uh, on the river, that is. Uh, other people are pulling bottom bouncers and spinners. Uh, right now, a lot of people are using slow depth, and that's been working really well. It's a great way, a great presentation with crawlers to, to produce some really nice walleye, so keep that in mind. Uh, other people are pulling spinners with leeches. Uh, a few are pulling uh, spinners with minnows, but it's mainly leeches and crawlers. Now, also something, something that people have been doing, and you can see them behind me. There are a lot of people are snap jigging out there right now and, and doing quite well, on a, you know, looking for those more active fish and getting that aggressive bite. Uh, so the Moonshine Shiver Minnows have been working really well, uh, as well as the Rapala Jig and Rap, as we've talked about in episodes past. So again, keep that in mind as the temperatures continue to warm, we're starting to move into those summer type of presentations. In this week's edition of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about something that we haven't mentioned in quite a bit, and that's really taking your catch after you call it a day. And what I'm talking about is cleaning your fish. No, we're not going to talk about the mechanics of actually cleaning your fish, but really some of the different tools that you can use to make it a little bit easier and also to save a lot more meat on your flays than you otherwise would. For many of us, we started out, and we probably still have one of these in our tackle boxes, the old raffle of uh, fish and fillet knives. They come in a number of different sizes. They still work very well. I mean, I, I use them to, for finishing up uh, some of the fillets, but many people still rely upon this method, method because why? They have the confidence in using it. But a lot of people have made the transition over the years to an electric knife. Uh, there's many different varieties out there on the market. And also in the past couple of years, they've made to the switch away from cordless to battery-operated versions. And now also the lithium. In the past uh, year, Rapala as well as Bubba have come out with new knives. Uh, Rapala has the R12 and the uh, Bubba has the Pro Series. Both of them have higher gears, stronger gears, and a little bit lighter as far as weight is concerned. So they come in, you know... A, multiple different ways that you can use them. But the nice thing about them, again, is that you can take them anywhere. You don't have to rely upon electricity, and they're going to last longer than a day than what the, the previous older models actually are. And the one advantage that the bullet has, also it comes with four different blades. But the key is, no matter what type of uh, method you use to fillet the fish, whether or not it's you know, the handheld variety, or if it's uh, the cord, corded version, or the lithium version, whatever is most comfortable to you, Make sure you use that because, again, the whole key is making sure you get as much of the meat off that fillet, off that fish, as you possibly can. So then what do you do after you clean the fish? Well, it's how to properly prepare them, how to cook them. And the thing is, make sure that those fillets are as cool as you possibly can be. The colder they are, the more firm the meat actually becomes. Also, we carry two different types of batter. One is the Krager style that uh, many of you have heard about. Uh, we've talked about it through the years. Uh, very, very popular across the upper Midwest. 
The nice thing about this is that it takes very little batter to fry your fish. You can use this bag. I probably can get four to five meals out of this one bag without any problem whatsoever. You don't add anything in, in, in it, like milk or anything like that. It's a dry uh, type of batter. And so you dip the filet in there and throw it in the grease. Uh, you can use whatever type of grease that you want, vegetable oil, canola, or you know, regular fat, whatever you want to use. The other one is something that we have new here, catch and cook. It's a little bit more expensive than many of the other batters, but honestly, it is well worth the money. Uh, we've talked to Jay Siemens uh, in, in uh, Kenora, and he, you know, this is his baby, and honestly, we've tried it ourselves, and honestly, I cannot find a batter that tastes any better than catch and cook right now. This is the spicy version. I've had the spicy as well as the beer batter. Both of them are very good. And the nice thing about this, especially uh, the, the spicy or the original, the crunchy, you can do it wet or dry. In other words, you can add an egg or add milk and you get a little bit thicker type of batter to your filet. So if you like a little bit more crunch or a little bit more batter, then go wet. If you don't want to have as much batter, then again, on that fish, you can go dry and just dip the filet in there and again, drop in the oil and it's going to be fine. No matter, again, however you want to choose, whatever batter you want to use, uh, just make sure you don't overcook it. The whole key is making sure that that fish tastes as good as what it's meant to be. And so you don't want to have too much batter and you don't want to cook it too long. If you have any questions about any of the filet knives or any of the batters, feel free to give us a call at 605-336-9132 or feel free to stop by the store. And now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at thecodeangler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And, folks, before we end this week's report, I want to let you know that with the holiday weekend coming up, we're going to have our own little holiday sale going on here at Dakota Angler. If you're looking for a combo, stop on by. They're going to be on sale this weekend, so it's going to be a great opportunity to buy that rod and reel combo that you've been looking for. Also, again, if you have any you know questions whatsoever, feel free to give us a call at 605-336-9132. Plus, that's going to be another way that you can stay up to date with the latest fishing report because we also have a recording that we update twice a week when you call that number. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the two-minute fishing report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Eichamp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching. Stay healthy, and have a great 4th of July.